to know how presenting uh, Khadguri. Uh, uh, thank you, Dr. Hassan. Thank you, Dr. Hassan. Uh, I share uh, part of our website at Al Qus University, which uh, about a program which we are really proud of, which is a dual studies, which is kind of uh, cooperation between the university and the private sector. It's been a successful program, and this is now a cooperation of the DIZ. So, um, our staff was presenting the website, I think, in detail. Can you see the website? Yeah. Okay. So this is the website of the dual studies at our universities. As you can read, it's uh, an educational system that combines the theoretical study with the practical application. Uh, and this is launched in 2016 with funding from the German government through GIZ. Uh, the program mainly, right, is, as it mentioned, this kind of uh, cooperation with the uh, private sector. The, the students learn about the theoretical part at the university and different courses. And then they go to the companies and they do some practice. So this is uh, the main idea. And uh, so <laughs> combines theoretical and academic education with training and internship. So it's, uh, it's done in, in, in this structure. We have a theoretical part, students they come. I'm sorry. Okay, so the uh, theoretical part is done at the university during the lectures, and then that's for uh, half of the semester, and then they go to the company, and they come back to the uh, university and then go back. Also, we, we we had some difficulties with starting this program. We had to do negotiation with the companies and, uh, you know, in Palestine, we don't have that much companies, uh, but I think we managed to get uh, the quite number of companies to cooperate with us. Uh, so in the students, they get, I think about three hundred dollars, right? So we have with from the company in order to work there, uh, and it's been developing really well now because we learned from the past experience, and then we had some evaluation from the companies, from the students, from the mentors. Of course, uh, each student will have a mentor. He visit him in the company, and they. At the beginning, they design uh, a plan for the student, what's work plan, what is he going to work on, and at the end, he get evaluation, and uh, this is just a remark of the course will come from the company as well as the uh, lecturer uh, himself. We have different programs that apply in this dual uh, which is our digital business, Business in mediation, information technology, industrial engineering, electrical engineering, and recently we have food technology in this program. I don't know if uh, Dr. Hannah would like to talk about the program itself because she's working in this program. I don't know, Hannah, if you want to contribute something. Uh, uh, good evening, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, there's just one point I would like to mention, uh, which are the graduation projects in the dual studies department. Uh, regarding our graduation projects, we have we get the ideas from the company and students have to work from the idea in the company and have to implement it at the university. And Jalal, Jalal, can you mute your mic, please? Okay. Uh, so... Um, our students get the IT from the company and have to work on it in the graduation project. So the team they're act actually working with is the company itself. Uh, and then they come to, to university, they do the they do the academic part, they write the uh, documentation, the SRS, and then they implement all they have done um, academically 
at the company. So this is a very good approach, we think. And uh, uh, so students implement real projects at companies and uh, they get a lot of knowledge after this uh, graduation project. Thank you, Hannah. Uh, any question about the program itself? Okay. That's briefly about the program, and you can see more about it in the website, www.universitiesbasanfordi.edu. So, can you send this in the chat? I'll, uh, I'll put it in the chat. Thank you. Okay. I think we have a kind of uh, collaboration with the uh, with the private sectors, but this is done kind of individually through the different uh, programs and uh, personal intervention. But this is one of the major uh, programs at Stanford University. Thank you. Okay, Hassan, I think we are finished. And if there is any question, we'll be glad to answer. Uh, Rashid, can I ask a question? Of I, I like very much this type of programs. I know that Slovenia has this only um, at the vocational level, secondary school, but I know that in Switzerland, in Germany, in Austria, this dual system also on higher education works. So is this a this so this is a this is just part of your program or is this a separate special higher education program that is accredited in a different way? Yes, it is a, okay. it is a special program and we got the accreditation from the ministry. First of all, we struggled with accreditation, but uh, later on we uh -huh. got it. And now I think other uh, universities in Palestine are trying to commit. I think the PBU have one, as well as uh, the Saduri was trying to get one. So, but then well, different kind of programs. Players. Yes. So I think I, I think this is a very good program. Personally, it has a good impact because first of all, it it gives the students the opportunity to see the private sector when they are working in it. Also, they might have get an opportunity to work because we have a, a, a working problem. Students, so an employment problem we have in Palestine, and this is it can solve part of this problem because they get the training phase before they finish their degree, and uh, the companies, they if they like the student, they might employ him. But we, we yeah, but of course, any program has its own difficulties sometimes. Uh, the students, they don't like the company, they have the problems, the problems there. But uh, we try to solve it very frequently, and we're always in touch with the companies and see if there are any problems with the students. And we usually solve it. Yeah, thank you. I also like the structure and I, I, I think you have similar problems that I said in the project level. There is a lot of organizational and and human connections that need to be made in order for things to run smoothly. And you st yeah. still have special students and special mentors in industry, special, which mm -hmm. make problems. Yeah, okay. Yes. Okay, thank I you, Rashid. Did you, are you uh, done? Okay, I think Jalal has got a question. Jalal has a question. Okay, I think Jalal has a, a question. Direct question, please. Uh, it is not a question, but it is a comment on the question of uh, Maya. Uh, as you said at the first, this uh, type or this uh, type of education or learning, which is a dual system, it was started for vocational and uh, uh, for TV, technical and vocational training and education, even in Palestine. But uh, some year, one year, I think before him can six or seven years, uh, the GIZ, which is uh, the German uh, establishment in Palestine, uh, decided to fund uh, such a program on the level of higher uh, education 
on the level of baccalaureate degree. And I think they started with Al-Quds University. Uh, then uh, after that, they uh, some kind of dissemination for other universities in uh, Palestine. Okay, uh, thank you, Jalal. Uh, now we'll uh, move to the second presentation, which is about PPU, and I'll have the honor of presenting PPU in this uh, regard. Uh, I will take a different, maybe a different uh, approach of uh, uh, Dr. Rashid. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I will present the, uh, let's say the examples or good examples of PBU in a holistic uh, manner. Okay, uh, let me just minimize this. Okay, uh, just for, for those who um, might not be aware of uh, PBU, uh, we are uh, with the university was established in 1978 with more than uh, 100 programs now and more than 10,000 students and more than or something like uh, more than 500 uh, stuff. Okay. <clears throat> The vision is towards science, technology, and innovation, entrepreneurial university. That's the uh, vision for the BDU. Uh, we usually, for, for uh, to achieve this mission, mission and vision, they've done, or the maneuver, the BBU maneuver is uh, maneuvering its resources towards achieving these visions through establishing good relationship with the community and industry, partnering with local and international entities, engaging in national and international projects and initiatives, offering work integrated learning programs, with, whether it's academic or vocational, and modernizing and updating its well-established academic programs, and then empowering and encouraging lecturers to adopt innovative teaching and learning methods and practices, and finally encouraging research, particularly applied research. In, in the regards or what they actually have uh, done and doing in uh, as a PBU in the past years and now. In the the term, regards, yes? The, the slides are not going ahead. You, you stick with the first slide. slide. I, we don't see this other slides. I already shared it. But, uh, then what's the okay, can you see now? No, it's still the first slide. Uh, yes, yes, Dr. Rassan, it's moving now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's move now. Slide, uh, slide number four now. Yes, now it's moving, yes. Okay. Um, slide five. Then so for, we have full uh, screen, yeah, Dr. So we have full screen. I shan't do her. I'm going to have full screen. 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 What have been done? Yes. Yes. Okay, this is for the good relation with the community and uh, industries. They already have uh, agreements, memorandum of understanding with hundreds of local international institutions and entities for the, both in the academia and industry. We have established several centers and entities to serve the community and uh, through, or actually some of them are a result of uh, joint uh, projects. Is the second one now Moving or not? Centers no, and still, still five, yeah. Still slide um, number five. That's the problem with the PowerPoint presentation. Yeah. Now it's moved to six. Yeah. Okay. Um they, they quickly they sent some of the centers that we already uh have is the IT Center of Excellence, Industrial Synergy Center. Actually, our colleague Jalal is uh, is the uh, director of the Industrial Synergy Center, Vehicles Testing Center, Career Development and Entrepreneurship Centers, Stone and Construction Material Cent Testing Center, Palestinian National Center for Occupational Safety, Health, Environmental Protection, Leather and Footwear Products Development Center, Center of Excellence in Water, Energy and Environment Research Innovation, Innovation and Technology Transfer Center, Technical consultancy and uh, specification. 
uh, in terms of partnering with local international entities, we have uh, a, a developed uh, intervention policy for social responsibility. Uh, we work on social or societal initiatives in collaboration with local and international NGOs, UNDB, Action Aids, etc. And uh, in terms of uh, national and international projects, we are involved in different local and international projects, uh, Erasmus Plus, Horizon, Tempos, SD, etc. And this project is actually one of them. Uh, we have joint master program, for example, with Bethlehem University in biotechnology, which is offered through the Korean Palestinian Biotechnology Research Center, which was actually established in a cooperation with the uh, Korean uh, government. We have the Stone and Marble Center and a, a two-year uh, program in this field. This is this was actually a result of a joint uh, effort with the Union of Stone and Marbles and the Ministry of National Economy. We have a digital marketing service unit, which is again, was a, uh, which was a result of one of the uh, projects that we are involved in. In terms of uh, work integrated learning programs, we have a sandwich program course, and we have already two uh, uh, here at uh, currently uh, running, one in the entrepreneurship and innovation in business that was introduced in 2014. And the credit goes to our colleague, Amjad Natshi for introducing that. Then we have another program in 2022, uh, that's an information system. The idea of the Sandwich course is that students will spend three years in the academia and one year in the uh, industry as actual or assuming the role of uh, an employee. And of course, this was supported with uh, uh, contracts and agreements with uh, business uh, forum in uh, Hebron and other uh, companies. Of course, uh, we, as the the Al Quds University, we have we started the dual studies programs, and we have several ones: the fintech, the ptech, renewable energy at the bachelor level. Then we have project management and green products design programs on the associate level. In this regards, actually the structure we have is that students come for three, three months at the university, then they go for three, another three months in the industry, then they come back for three months at the academy, academia or the university, and then another three months uh, at the uh, industry and so forth for the whole uh, four <coughs> years. Uh, in that term also, we have a field training in all other programs. And a final project, which actually uh, uh, our colleague Jalal mentioned in that, uh, we have a final project, of course, plus the uh, labs and hands-on uh, experience and practices we offer to our students. Uh, for all uh, programs, we have self-evaluation and improvement of the curriculum, contents, technology, trends, etc. And always we try to introduce new programs to meet the, the emerging trends and needs on local and international levels, building on our uh, experiences. Uh, one of the centers related to actually to this project is the Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning, which was established more than uh, 10 years ago. And this is really one of the success stories that we have. Uh, one of uh, as was, was a result of a project uh, funded by the ANIRA and the Middle East at that time. Uh, so well, the main thing that we do in our uh, one of the uh, good things which actually uh, support or go align uh, go in line with uh, what we are doing in this project, the three triple E's, is that we have a mandatory. Uh, training program of about 70 contact hours for all new uh, lecturers joining the university, covering topics in teaching and learning theories, course and syllabus design, innovative teaching and learning methods like experiential learning, collaborative learning, community-based service learning, project-based learning and problem-based learning, and in innovative assessment methods, technology and education, etc. 
and we now we are working on converting or having this program in uh, the in online modality and on uh, in a blended more a blended learning mode uh, of course also the center uh, organizes workshops and roundtable discussions for all lecturers whether they are old or new and we offering some uh, and the different topics. One of them actually is the flipped classroom of flipped learning. Uh, again, the one of other things that we actually do for uh, targeting efforts to uh, our lecturers, the entrepreneurial teaching methods, which is uh, conducted through uh, workshops and training to uh, our faculty. Uh, on the term of encouraging applied research, uh, the Korean Palestine and Biotechnology Research Center, for example, is running a specialized research in biotechnology, and it has a joint master program or research oriented with a university or with Bethlehem University. Uh, again, the Center of Excellence in Water and Environment Research and Services provide applied research in various fields, environment, health, climate change, and so on. And again, the Power Electronics Research Unit, the Artificial Intelligence and Robotics Research Unit, the Industries Research Center. I kept it for the, uh, to the end because I will um, ask our colleague Jalal, who is the director of the Industrial Synergy Center, to talk for about two minutes about the activities or the model of this uh, center. It provides research solutions in various fields and in the industrial production, materials, green production, and machinery. And uh, it's responsible for building and maintaining partnerships with the various unions and representatives of industries and the private sector in Palestine. Uh, actually, this is, uh, I, as I mentioned in the, in the beginning, I took that holistic approach because uh, we believe that each one of those are uh, a good example and a success story for us at PBU. And we'll be happy to share any details of, uh, of those uh, examples with anyone uh, who wish to know more about it. And uh, by this, I would end this presentation and I will uh, uh, just ask uh, the, our colleague Jalal to talk for about two minutes about the industry industrial synergy uh, center. And then if anybody has any comment or questions, we will be happy to uh, listen and uh, answer. Thank you. Uh, Jalal, if you... Okay, salam alaikum. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Ghassan, for your presentation about our university, PBBU. Uh, I'll not, uh, I will not repeat the, uh, the things you are talking about, about industry center, but the point I want to talk about two specific cases in, uh, in cooperation with the, uh, with the private sector uh, and by industry, uh, I see uh, as the, in the industrial synergy center. Uh, one of our case, which are implementing nowadays, is the field training for our students from uh, engineering faculty or engineering college, uh, in which we uh, go to the one of the uh, highest or huge uh, companies in uh, Hebron. Uh, it is uh, working in, uh, in metal uh, uh, shaping, and uh, we uh, make a meeting with the, their engineers and their directors, uh, two technical meetings, uh, looking for around for this in this company to uh, check out what kind of development they need, even technically or uh, or uh, management management uh, level. Also, they present some problems they faced in uh, their work. Uh, then we choose five students, two electrical engineering, two uh, six students, sorry, two electrical engineering, two mechanical engineering, one in uh, architecture engineering, and the sixth one is uh, 
from the management uh, college. And these six students, while they are uh, implementing their field training, they trying to solve the problems which this uh, company faced. And they are now, they implementing their field training by doing or by uh, solving the problems, of course, with cooperation with their teachers and cooperation of the manager and the engineers in that company. This is one case. The second case is one of our students from mechanical engineer department is uh, implementing a graduation project, uh, which is the, the title of his graduation projects is validation and calibration of welding test equipment according to ISO uh, 17 or 25 standards and this uh, projects will be in cooperation with the BCI the Muassafat al Maqais al Palestinian and to uh, put some kind of specification for those who are going to work in welding side in the country these are two cases or two I, I think I hope to be a success cases in our uh, cooperation with labor market. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Jalal, for this highlight. And uh, if any one has a comment or a question, we'll take one or two, and then we move to our next presentation. OK, since there's no uh, question, then we go to our third and last presentation uh, with Dr. Noha about uh, Khadudin. Dr. Noha, please. Sorry. Um, good afternoon. Uh, and, and thank you, Dr. Ghassan, for uh, giving me the, the chance to present uh, about uh, uh, Khadouri and its experiences. Uh, and also, I need um, I need to share my screen in order to present something. Um, but I had to organize the Zoom <laughs> the Zoom screens. A lot of a lot of Zoom screens I have here. Uh, this is this is my presentation about the Palestinian Technical University Khaduri. You know, it is started as. Uh, as a school, Kaduri school, high school, uh, from 1930 until, and then it is um, uh, started regarding the, the occupation or regarding the system who, uh, who yani managed Palestine uh, or West Bank, and uh, uh, it becomes, becomes like um, intermediate college in 1944. Uh, and, and it is administration transferred to the Jordan. Uh, it becomes Al Hussein Agriculture College in 1961. And then it named uh, Khadouri Agriculture uh, Institute, uh, Tulkarm, 1968. Then it becomes Tulkarm Community College, 1982. It becomes also Palestinian uh, uh, Technical College, Khadouri, uh, at um, the Palestinian National Authority. In 1994, and also it uh, offered um, uh, officially an uh, offered degree of uh, physical education and. Um, let's see about the screen now. Uh, uh, offered um, a bachelor degree in physical education and in electrical engineering. This is the first two programs bachelor degree uh, in 1999. In, 19, in 2007, it becomes uh, like it is now Palestinian Technical University Kaduri. In, um, uh, and it offers uh, 83 diploma and bachelor degree, master degree, 19 master degree and two PhD programs. Uh, also, in this year, uh, now it is not only Tulkarm main branch. It is it has uh, Al Arub uh, College uh, in Hebron and uh, Ramallah uh, Girls College at Ramallah, and now uh, it's um, uh, BTUK 
uh, with the three branches. One, the main one is Tul Karim, uh, second one in Ramallah, and the third one in Al Arab. And this is the uh, it's um and it's uh, geographical location and the, the smart uh, plan for the for Khadurin. And this is the geographical one in Tul Karim and in Himra. Uh, also, this is uh, about its programs and um, the number of students and number of staff, 10,000 the staff in the three branches, and also 10,226 uh, students in the three branches, uh, 72 programs, um, uh, two BHD, 17 master, 25 bachelor degree, 28 diploma. We have a lot of diploma, which is um, freezed, uh, sometimes free, sometimes initiated and or worked regarding the uh, labor market needs or labor market labor market requirements, and uh, it it becomes like in 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 colleges. Sorry, uh, graduated studies, which is the master degree and PhD. Uh, now it is 19 master degree and two PhD. Uh, also engineering and uh, technology college. Uh, uh, we have uh, in it and in other colleges all these programs at the at the right hand, but at the left hand we have information technology, also business and economy, art and educational sciences college and uh, physical education and sport, applied sciences, agricultural sciences and technology, uh, integrative education, or, and also the Palestinian Technical University, which uh, give the student a diploma or intermediate diploma. Um, I want to uh, I want to share that uh, Pakistan Technical University have an experience in leading uh, projects. A lot of Erasmus projects, but uh, here I want to concentrate on the two projects, which is uh, take care of the labor market. And concentrate concentrate on the labor market. The first one is the previous one, which is the, which is Tivit C Cube uh, project. Uh, uh, yani the, it's, it has yani, an objectives and other. I will present it uh, in the second uh, in the second uh, slide. And also the Triple E project, uh, which is uh, uh, which is we are now uh, work on it. And um, this is this uh, these um, uh, partners are uh, from the previous project. Some of them are in the uh, actual project, and the, and some of them not. Uh, in the Tivit CQ project, I want to concentrate because I brought um, uh, in, 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 about the outputs of Tivit CQ project. Uh, and I feel that we are the first partners or first consortium who concentrate on the on the labor market and the socioeconomic needs of the of the of the field of the sector, and also this 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 is the first project that concentrate that force. The university, the academia, and the academic staff in the university to take care in the private sector. Which yeah before no always the yeah you know, there's institutions who uh, sometimes funders who take care with the divit uh, but this is the this project divit CQ is the first project who take care with the vocational sector vocational schools and the voca training vocational centers in the uh, Palestinian in the West in the West Bank and Gaza and Gaza also. Uh, Tivit CQ uh, have uh, yani, um, uh, two components. The first one is that um, uh, focus on offering teaching curricula in the field of Tivit and initiates academic research work on, uh, on this area. The various issues related to Tivit um, uh, resort to different uh, disciplines without with which were mobilized in the project. Yani, uh, uh, everything related to curricula, related to relating to training, uh, research, are taken into our account while we are implementing the Tivit uh, project. Also, it seeks to promote the development of teaching curricula and research activities at the Palestinian University. 
يعني one side in the uh, labor market and the uh, institution in vocation, vocation institution like vocation schools and vocation training centers, and from the other side, the uh, academia, the universities. As I mentioned before, this is the first time that university professors are uh, forced to, to take care with or to pay, to pay attention to, uh, to, uh, to the vocational field. Uh, the TVCQ project overall, uh, overall objective is, to, is a contribution to the development of curricular research and uh, effective orientation in vocational training and adult education at the Palestinian universities that meet with the priority requirements expressed by the Palestinian National Authority. Uh, there is, as uh, there is, uh, and it has uh, specific objectives like strengthening educational competences, promoting orientation in education science disciplinary, based on research, enabling the, the Palestinian academic and technical staff to design and develop vocational training projects and programs in in line with the requirements and priorities of the socio-economic and and also <laughs> can you mute yourself that the person who opened enabling the palestinian concerned instructions to uh, this the with the research groups and the counterpart uh, from the three European <laughs> universities, which are partner of the project. <laughs> Allowing Palestinian partners to link with the, <laughs> with the European vocational training institutions, which are partners in the project. <laughs> and also, <laughs> yani, uh, yani we, we, we benefit from the previous uh, partners that make, uh, make uh, us um, bring some of them to be part of this new project because their contribution is uh, very well. Contributing to the development in the framework of, basic, uh, of, uh, of faculties of education in Palestinian universities of multidisciplinary and dynamic approaches. You know that uh, and we concentrate a lot to, um, to convince academic person who is who, yani, always um, Yani like um, who, yani, um, concentrate on himself as uh, a subject matter. I am a professor in electricity in electrical engineering. I am a professor in physics. I am a professor in um, in medical. We convince them that uh, yes, you are like that, but you had to make to make like disciplinary uh, research, disciplinary. Uh, yani approaching studies and programs also they can initiate. The graduation project, graduation student project, to be disciplinary, not to be only concentrate on uh, on the uh, uh, subject matter, and uh, this uh, this may make the things uh, make sense uh, in uh, in the field, because if uh, the, if it does not uh, reflect on the labor market and in the socioeconomic needs, I think that uh, physics not uh, benefit or biology, if it does not um, make sense in the project. Uh, in the biology, we they make like um, how to check the soil and how to, to check the, the planet's uh, leaves in order to, in order to um, know what is the disease, the planet diseases. And uh, this is all because this is, is a social need, a, a socioeconomic need. Um, yani, uh, in this project, uh, we, uh, yani, the target group in this project is the university staff, uh, TVT student, uh, uh, in vocational schools and in uh, uh, training center, school, uh, training center, vocational training centers, and also uh, staff from TVT institution in Palestine, uh, all TVT institution in Palestine, vocational post secondary and technical education institution, Ministry of Labor, Ministry of Education, and Ministry of Higher Education. All TVT stakeholders, including private schools, honor schools, and uh, other centers. Also, uh, we have social affairs. Uh, development social affairs ministry they have also a 12 training center uh, also we take it in our account we we reach all we reach all uh, uh, the ultimate uh, ultimate uh, schools or institutions
there is the, here are some statistical and numbers re regarding the outputs and the achievements of uh, TVCQ projects. Um, but I'm but I'm sure that Triple E will uh, will make uh, more. Yeah, yeah. Um, one one thousand working days by six Palestinian universities from impl uh, for implementing and developing the baseline studies, the vocational training projects, and the curricula, and etc. And then 1,000 management days by six Palestinian universities that uh, also uh, take its place in, in order to achieve the goals of the project. Uh, 20 training days in Germany and France and Belgium for 34 person participants, at least 34. In, 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 uh, in France, 38. 38 tra trainee who uh, go to France. Sorry. Uh, we, yani, uh, the most, uh, yani, uh, the most achievement, uh, yani, like tangible, tangible achievement uh, that, um, uh, yani, uh, reports of uh, quality that um, uh, prepared and, um, uh, yani, uh, adopted by IKEA, uh, also uh, six training session inside Palestine, six four training mission in uh, out of Palestine, fifteen applied studies. Uh, which is yeah, I mean, meet with the requirements of different uh, of different sector uh, from six universities that implemented in uh, in four years. Uh, four vocational training programs were uh, developed uh, to meet socioeconomic uh, skill com skills and competences. And uh, and what is what is uh, the uh, uh, make this these programs. Uh, uh, distinguished that it uh, built based on competences at the you know, at the beginning the, the 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 developer who are university academic staff also uh, they they take into account the the main competency and then go to the sub competences and develop developing the materials uh, uh, to meet the um, uh, to meet these competences and to enhance the capacity build the capacity of uh, of the workers in in this field or who need this competency. Uh, four courses at uh, diploma, bachelor, and master degree, and these courses are still still. Uh, yani, uh, uh, taught and yani, taught and implemented in the university. Uh, I have one course of this, which is uh, sociological perspectives of work and the occupation. Uh, what, five workshops were implemented each one um, uh, yani, at least yani, one day, but um, more, a lot of them more than one day. Uh, uh, this is uh, summarized to this uh, to these um, achievements. Uh, all these achievements um, uh, make me uh, sure me and my uh, colleagues in yani my our bar, my partners in this project. Uh, we are sure that um, uh, because they doing a heavy experimentations and uh, uh, and uh, piloting's and uh, working in curricula, working in in, in vocational training programs, uh, I'm sure that we create a national team from universities can build courses and vocational vocational programs and apply the studies. And, uh, and maybe uh, this is true, because if I look to the screen now, I find all of them here in the in the in this project and in the in this uh, in this team. Uh, in this why because they have the experience in building curricula and they uh, learned a lot from the previous project. Also, the Palestinian Technical University Khaduri, because it is uh, uh, it has this um, this interest uh, of uh, vocational and training uh, vocational and training uh, field. Uh, they, uh, uh, it builds uh, a master uh, initiate a master degree of divit, and it is the first one in uh, not only in Palestine also in the Middle East. This is must my master degree uh, of divit. And uh, this is the location of this um, yeah, of this um, master degree. You can go and read about it, and uh, also any I mean, everything regarding this this uh, master degree. And also, uh, this is the study plan of this um, uh, master degree. Uh, each 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 course, um, our students produce a lot of things. 
really uh, I I always um, look at these at these products and say, sit with um, uh, with myself. We had to do something with these products. I mean, we had to do because it is uh, an enrichment. I mean, about um, each student in our uh, master degree, when they are graduated, they know how to how to build the TOR for any position, for any occupation, for any uh, work. Uh, and uh, not, not not only the TOR, the, the descriptive of the um, the descriptive of the work, the the qualification of each qualification of each position in the in the in the work in the in the government. Not only government and, and companies also. Each of them know that. Uh, and a lot of performance tasks that they are doing while they are uh, making, uh, while we assist them, they produce a lot of performance tasks. Uh, this is Yani about the project and uh, about the Palestinian Technical University Khaduri and about the new master uh, program in uh, in BTUK. Uh, a lot of things can we speak about it. We have uh, integrative studies, uh, which is uh, like dual studies, uh, but um, uh, it is regarding the uh, regarding the uh, some uh, bachelor degrees uh, and diploma, bachelor and diploma from engineering college and from uh, and from economy. Uh, business and economy, uh, but this uh, uh, this uh, the, what is beautiful here that the student can choose if he wants to go to the dual study or want to go to the academic one, academic program. And my colleagues know about this, but we can speak about this uh, in the um, in the coming uh, days. Thank you for hearing me. If there is any question, I'm ready to answer any question. Thank you, uh, Dr. Noha, for this detailed and informative presentation of the TVIT uh, Erasmus project. And uh, if anybody has a comment or a question for Dr. Noha, we'll take one or two questions, and then we'll leave the floor to Dr. Rashid to close 